Carrot is very hardy plants. They grow well, strong, less disease, less problem. And the most important thing is very good taste. We can grow carrots almost everywhere in the world, especially in tropical and cold climate. Carrot will have seed or flowers mainly in cold climate, not in tropical. It takes two years to have flowers. The first year, let them grow. After that, let them uh, be in the cold snow. And after that, when they grow second year, they will have flowers like this and have seed. Carrot seed look like funnel seed or dill seed, quite similar. They may be uh, in the same family. To grow carrot is very easy. Carrot doesn't like clay. They love loose soil, sandy soil or loam. That's what they love the most. If it's too much high clay, they will not have roots. They don't grow well. So when we make the bed, make the soil loose as we can, and we make rows in the bed. And the row, it will be like five inches far apart. In each row, we just drop the carrot seed in the row. Not very thick, it's quite thin, because if too thick, the carrot will be small. But if it's a little bit far apart, for example, like three inches or two inches, they will have very good roots. After we sow the seed in the row, it's good to cover with compost. Compost will help to keep the moisture in the soil last longer and it helps to protect uh, the sunlight for carrot seed. Because carrot seed, any seed, any dry seed, when it's wet, it cannot dry again. If it dry again, it will not sprout at all. So it's good to keep them moist at least five to seven days. So compost help a lot to keep the moisture stay in the soil longer. And then if we have straw or rice husk, we can use them to cover one more layer on top of compost. That will help even better. But when we use straw, don't cover too thick because if it's too thick, carrot seed cannot sprout. They cannot push up to the thick straw because they have two, they have double leaves. It's hard for them to come up to the straw. But the straw will help to keep the grass, control the grass for a while and, and keep moisture stay longer. And after that, we need to water them very well. Especially if our bed is very dry, we need to water very wet and always check, dig in, the, use our finger to dig in the bed to check if it's wet deep enough. If it's not deep enough, it can make the seed sprout slower or not sprout well. After a week or two later, the carrot will sprout and grow to the straw they will grow very fast after they come up to the straw. When the carrot leaves cover the whole bed, they help to protect the sunlight in the bed. So the grass will grow slower. This is help them to grow very well. Carrot grow fast. In only a few months, they will take over the whole bed. And after that, they will start to have carrot roots. You can see at the bottom, you can see the orange color roots, bigger and bigger after that. So we can harvest them whenever we can see the orange roots there. If we harvest earlier, we can get the baby carrot. If we wait a little bit longer, we will get the bigger carrot. Carrot bait, sometimes we let them grow with the grass. Also, because when we lazy to we do weeding, we just let them grow together. We will get some carrot. It's not very good, but it's worth it because we don't need to do weeding. Weeding is a lot of work too. So after a few months, 
carrot is ready to harvest. When we grow carrot, the kid, the children love it. They will keep watching when it's going to be the time to harvest carrot. And then when they see the orange carrot underground, they will come to tell their mom to harvest carrot together. Because carrot harvesting is very fun. They love to eat carrot. It's not only rabbit love to eat carrot. Kids love it too because it tastes good. Especially when we grow carrot with no chemical. They grow and let them grow a little bit long. Tastes very good. What we don't like to grow with carrot is this kind of plant. We call sensitive plants because they are very sensitive. We just touch them. They just close their leaf immediately. They are so shy, shy. They don't want to see people. But this kind of plant is thorny. That's why we don't like them. But the rest of the grass, we let them grow together. So when we grow with no weeding, the carrot that we harvest, they will look like this. It's not big the same size or the same length. We have big one, small one, long one, and short one. But all of them is edible. We eat all of them. We are not like a city people who like to eat carrot the same size all the time. Even they are different, but they are good. Tastes very good. Carrot, we can grow a lot because we can keep them long time. We harvest small amount at a time. And then we keep them in the bed like that. Whenever we want them, we come and pick them. Or even harvest them, we can keep in flea refrigerator for a long time too. What we like to eat the most is carrot juice. All the kids love carrot juice. After we clean them very well and we have the juicer, this will make very good carrot juice. It's pure carrot juice, nothing add in there. But the taste is incredible. So good, sweet, and very rich. Everybody loves it. So, I think it's very good activity for all the kids. When we have kids, we love to grow carrot with them and make carrot juice with them. Whenever we make carrot juice, we always have some uh, leftover. This part is like a fiber. After we squeeze the juice from it, we drink the juice, enjoy the juice, leftover fiber. We can make carrot cake together. All kids love carrot cake because it's so fun to do and tastes so good. Especially carrot cake with coconut cream. We grow carrot every year because we love carrot so much. We don't care how much money do we make, how much saving do we have, but we care more about to have fresh organic carrot juice often. This is heaven for us.